In this video, you'll learn how to replace the head gasket on a 550. We'll start by removing the necessary components. Start by removing the spark plug. You'll remove the clutch fan, so you'll have access to check the timing marks. There's four 10 millimeter bolts. Once you remove that, you'll find a flathead screw in the upper right head corner. That is where you can access your timing marks. You'll need to verify that your engine is on top dead center. Next, we'll remove the upper cover and we'll make sure your timing gears are in correct sequence. Next, you remove the side covers that access your valves. The top is the, your intake valves. The lower is your exhaust valves. This is where you'll do your valve adjustment when needed. We'll move the timing chain tensioner to release the tension off the timing chain. First, you'll loosen the bolt on the back of the timing chain tensioner to relieve the tension off the chain. Once you remove the tension on the center bolt, you can now remove the eight millimeter bolts on both sides and remove the chain tensioner from the vehicle. Now we will remove the two Allen bolts on the side of the head. We'll remove the cam gear by removing the two eight millimeter bolts and the cam weights to keep them from hyperextending. And go ahead and remove your timing sprocket. Next, you'll need to remove the oil tube from the top of the head and make sure to retain the copper washers that seal the oil tube to the top of the head. There's an eight millimeter bolt that allows you to move the oil tube from the top of the head to gain access to the four bolts. Now you have access to the four bolts on the top of the head. Once the head bolts are removed, you'll see you'll have two different size head bolts. Each head bolt has a copper gasket or washer that is used to seal the head. Make sure to retain those with each one of the bolts. Once you have all the bolts removed, make sure your timing chain is out of the way and remove your head. Now you have access to your head gasket. Remove the head gasket, inspect for any visual damages. You'll clean the surface area and inspect the surface area of the cylinder body and make sure that your chain is still connected on the bottom. Inspect your head for any imperfections, broken valves, bent or damages. Clean the surface areas and then anything that may need to be addressed at this time. During the reassemble process, you'll want to make sure that your piston is in the top dead center position. You'll turn your, piston, turn your engine until your piston is all the way at the top dead center. Make sure your chain is still connected. Look in the visual inspection hole and make sure the top dead center mark is still at top dead center. Now with your piston at top dead center and your chain tight to the gears, you can reinstall the new head gasket. Make sure that your head gasket is installed correctly. If you install it backwards, you'll see that the alignment will not line up for the bolt holes on the two outside bolts where the timing chain is. Make sure your guide pins are installed correctly and this will help retain your head gasket in the correct position for installation of your head. When installing, you'll make sure to line up your head and the timing chain will need to be fed through and make sure it sits flat on the head. Once you've put your head on, you'll make sure to grab the chain and allow it to hang over the cam. When installing the head bolts, make sure the head bolt are in the correct positions. The short one on the short side of the head and the long ones on the long side of the head.
Once you snug the bolts, you'll use a torque wrench. The torque sequence will be done in three steps. Step one is 27 nanometers. It'll go one, two, three, four. The next torque sequence will be 50 nanometers. And you'll use the same X pattern. The last sequence will be a 45 degree turn. Now we'll install the cam sprocket. We'll verify top dead center. If you look on the cam gear, your cam gear should have a notch for top dead center on the gears or some of them will also have a dot. You'll install the timing gear and make sure all three dots are aligned. This may take one or two times to align this. You'll see here to open up the counterweights to allow the decompression gear to fall in place. You'll want to make sure that the decompressor gear, the cam gear, and the cam sprocket all align. They will be pointing to the top timing mark on the head. This may take more than one try. Make sure when you're installing that all three of these are lined up correctly. Once you have everything aligned, you can reinstall the two eight millimeter bolts and make sure to put the counterweight retainers back in their location. Make sure that all three line up correctly with the timing marks on the head. You'll check the timing mark on the lower of the engine to make sure it's currently a top dead center. On the timing chain tensioner, make sure to remove the bolt, press down on the release, and press the tensioner back in. Reinstall the tensioner with the two eight millimeter bolts. Make sure this is installed correctly. You'll tighten these back down, and then you'll reinstall your spring-loaded tensioner bolt. You'll make sure to snug this and then come back with your ratchet and make sure that it's tight. You'll reinstall your last two bolts. Once your head is installed, you'll reverse steps and reinstall your covers. Once you've done this and your head has been torqued down, go ahead and reinstall the oil pipe Make sure to use both your washers. Make sure to install this correctly, not to cross thread. Both copper washers must be installed so this does not leak. Once everything is assembled, it's a good idea to rotate the motor one revolution to make sure that proper engagement of the valves and the piston do not hit each other and everything moves freely. Now you've replaced your head gasket on your 550 motor.